Dear colleagues, this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis with small people. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. This is the main incision at around 10.30 o'clock with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. And now, one side port is being made at around 8 o'clock. Now I am going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. First I inject a, an air bubble and beneath this air bubble here goes the tripan blue dye. The dye is spread evenly over the anterior capsule. Little bit of adrenaline has been injected but it didn't have any effect in this case. Now the dye is washed out. In this case, I am using SPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, as the viscoelastic substance. I have used the Simco to see if there is any posterior sinica or not. And here is the viscoelastic substance. It is Anti chamber is underfilled and little bit of scholastic substance is injected underneath the iris to make some room for introduction of people expansion device. This is a side port on the left side. In this case I have decided to use a people expansion device and it is B hex people expander. It's a beautiful hexagonal, versatile, very slender people expansion device goes through very small incisions this is a 2.8 millimeter incisions but it can go through very small incisions like 1.8 millimeter or even smaller than that this is a 23 gauss forceps it is being used to introduce the V hex and the leading flange is tucked and now, two more flanges are to be tucked underneath the iris. Alternate flanges are tucked. In this case, I have tucked the flange without the holes. Now, I introduce the 23 gauze forceps through the right side port hold this arm and tuck it underneath the iris. Now I go through the left side port, hold the arm and tuck it underneath the iris. See how easily and how quickly it has been and the people has taken hexagonal shape and you will see after removal of this device the people is absolutely round there is no damage to sphincter pupillae now here it is this is the capsulorexis I am using a uterta forceps to do capsulorexis and I'm getting an adequate sized rexis to manage this nucleus. This nuclear density of this nucleus is grade 3 or grade 3 plus, little harder than grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Now this is hydrodissection. This device doesn't cause any hindrance in any step of surgery. The people is hexagonal and it gives more room to work than a rectangular or square shaped device will provide. Now here it is um, I've started managing the nucleus and here this is direct chop 
I hold the nucleus firmly with high vacuum and chop it. I'm using 450 vacuum in this case. The machine being used is Oatly Catrex 3. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. FECO power being used in this case is 70%. So one heminucleus has been emulsified and removed. This is the other heminucleus. This is also held with high vacuum and it is chopped into two parts. Each part is emulsified and removed. Iris is at its normal position. Antichamber is deep, not like if I use iris hooks, the antechamber becomes shallow. And now viscoelastic substance is injected and cortex is cleaned. In this case, I'm using bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of cortical matter. So the cortical matter is removed and now little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done um, using only the irrigating jet of fluid for polishing the posterior capsule. Now I inject viscoelastic substance and in this case I am implanting a hydrophobic acrylic aspheric intraocular lens from Apasami Associates. This is a beautiful lens. Opens not very slowly and there is no glistening in this lens. I have a follow-up of about three years nice lens. I have no financial interest but I have lot of respect for Upper Sami Associates. Now this is see how the BHEX people expansion device is being removed. The flanges are untucked and once the device is in anterior chamber in front of the RS and then it is slowly removed through the main incision. That's it. So B hex people expansion device has simplified this case very much. And I'll see the people after removal of the ring. The people has taken round shape. There is absolutely no damage to sphincter pipli. Now I am removing the viscoelastic substance from behind the lens, from in front of the lens, I'm just flashing. And now I am using both irrigation and aspiration for removal of the viscoelastic substance. And now the side ports are hydrated. This is little bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated with BSS, balanced salt solution, so that these step incisions become waterproof. And now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber. What I believe is if I do this final lavage with pure BSS and if I remove all the substance even moxifloxacin that I have used the anterior chamber will be very quiet.
that's it the antichamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills all the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage and the case is concluded